Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 33. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Gets out to around the 48. Each time you run an option, a big play is possible. This time they came up big on third down. On the throw, incomplete pass. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Second and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He heaves it deep, intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 13. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. They line up at the 13. First down. He makes it to the 15-yard line. And he throws it away. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. They bring the quarterback down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us that there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 46. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Check, 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 check. Fires quickly and he's got his man and he's taken down at the 34 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Tackle right around the 20. That makes it 
makes it first and ten. ten. And down he goes at the 12. What a play, and that is first and goal. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. Touchdown, Kentucky! Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 45-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Kentucky gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out quickly. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets rid of this one. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Quick throw, nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. The Wildcats really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot that they're the big underdog in this game, and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he tries to buy some time. He's going to take off. Decides to slide. First Kentucky is up by a touchdown. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 44. He goes out of bounds around the 50 yard line. zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Kentucky's got a great defensive game plan and it's working right now. Well even from up here Brad you can see their defensive speed and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're gonna have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled at the 23. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second to seven. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. Check, 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 check. 
He's on the run. They'll make the sack. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Third down and 12. Ball on the 18. Moves up in the pocket. He sails it long. Oh, what an interception. He's taken down at the 44. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First and 10, ball on the 44. Kentucky is up a score. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Kentucky. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kentucky can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Green 15. Where? Check Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Check, check. Now he's scrambling. From their own 40-yard line. Third down. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Mike Mike two. Mike four. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. 
It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. That's a three on the play. That makes, that makes it, it second and six. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gives it off. Five wide. They'll bring him down at the 25. That's a game of seven on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Uh, you think you're going to get this, boy? You think you're going to get this? Fuck two. Easy, easy, easy. 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 Fuck two. Fuck two. Five. Fires incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He throws it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He wants it all. Caught out of the open for the 20. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. And you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Got an opening. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. They'll drop him for a loss. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. He's scrambling, and he has it on the corner. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds at the 50-yard line. From midfield, it's first down. the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. So we're looking at another third down here. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. This is the eighth play of this drive. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Now he's going to run and watch out. Watch 
Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he is drilled at the 11-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Throws into coverage, just picked off. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure that he has to make something happen. But what he has to realize is he's only making it worse. for a sack on the play. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Second down. Tough spot here, deep in their own territory. They line up in the jumbo set. up about three yards on that carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the five. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. 17 to nothing, Kentucky. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll get him in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Mike 40, Mike 40. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green eight. Hey, motion backfield, motion backfield. Green pass incomplete. He's going to air it long. And he's got the junior to the 10. First and goal coming up. He's knocked down after a big game. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. They tried to get a head start there. Ball start, start offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still second, second down. down. It's second and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. Four down, four down. Forty's the mark. Black five. Black. 
and he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They come out in a five-wide set. Red two, X seven. Throws a laser across the middle. And down he goes at about the five-yard line. Number two makes the tackle. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Feeds it to the back. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Excellent punt. Brought down at the 33 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 44 yard line. on the run. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Stay right, stay right. Easy, easy. Blair, Blair. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it third to seven. First down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. First and 10, ball on the 35. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. He's immediately tackled.
slip. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. Kentucky's shown that they can score points. We can see that, but it has not been pretty at all in the third quarter. Well, they just seem to have gone cold here in the third quarter. And if they can get a big play on defense or special teams, maybe that'll possibly ignite these guys. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Kentucky is up seven. He scrambled, and they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They're coming after the kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. at the 30. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Very good tackle in space. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. The Wildcats with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Don't let them freeze. Play that tight D. Don't let them freeze. Red two. Mike Forty. Mike Forty. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Here they come, and he's sacked. Boy, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. Tennessee. 
Tennessee to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Kentucky is up by four. Fires it out. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. Reset, right. That brings up second and one. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. easy nine, Big Philly. Philly. Big, Big nine, Philly. Nine, Philly. Uh -huh. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 45. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. From the 49-yard line, second down. Hook up over the middle. Brought down right around the 34. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Kentucky holds a four-point lead. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tennessee's going to use their first time out of the half here. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. The Volunteers were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. And well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It can still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. There's a the strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Uh, 
Throws it out right to the running back. And they make the stop at the 37. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 42. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 27th. Knocked out of bounds around the seven yard line. This is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. He gets rid of this one. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Under a minute left in the game. Dog four. There's a strike over the middle, and he hits him hard at the two-yard line. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is it. They've got to get it in the end zone. And he is drilled at the nine-yard line. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. He might have a chance. Give to the tailback. And he's level at the 17-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. The Volunteers using their third and final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Makes it out to about the 17 yard line. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 2013 Wildcats. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And boy, was it fun to watch. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.